Hi, my name is Ami Magani. Welcome to our one minute tech tip video series. Today I'm going to talk to you about copying a feature from one part to another. Uh, what you want to do is make sure you have instant 3D on on your features command manager. And the other thing you want to do is go to your Windows pull down menu and make sure you're tiled vertically so you can see the parts side by side. Now I have two features in this part here. I'm going to select one and then hold the control key and then drag it over to the other part and you see that it's copied the feature. Now it's not um, the way I want it to look and that's because it honors the end condition as well. So you have to make sure you choose the end condition that's appropriate for you. So here I'll choose through all and I'll recopy that holding the control key dragging it over to the other window and you'll see that it honored that end condition again. Okay, now I have another feature here. I'm going to choose this extruded boss and hold the control key and I'm going to drag that over. Okay, and I get this dialog confirmation because um, in this feature uh, it's fully defined with uh, constraints and dimensions and that's why I get the dialog box. The other features were not constrained. So I'm going to choose to dangle them and don't be alarmed, you'll see it in yellow here. That just means we need to go back and just reattach those. So you'll edit the sketch here and you can just select the dimension and just drag that dimension to the appropriate reference. Same with this one. Now I'm familiar with the other dimension um, and the way I built it. So doing this is no issue. I can select that and it's parallel to this edge and so all you're doing is dragging the red dots to the appropriate reference. Okay, and now I have a fully defined feature and I can exit out of it. Okay, thanks for watching our one minute tech tip video.